What's going on? So Coach uh, Co seems to be kicking it just like you taught him, huh? Yeah, absolutely, man. I think uh, I think the talent he already has, you know, is just being like you can see it now, and it's great, you know. Been so it through the upgrades. Fifty-five yards. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. Yeah. With a lot of loft on him too. Yeah, yeah. Just the beginning though. We got a lot of work to work on. Got a lot of stuff to clean up, but yeah, he's got a leg. What do you think his range is? <laughs> I mean. You know, in warm-ups, we're warming up, and he's booming them from that that far. So, I mean, anywhere from 55, 60, like, he can get out there. Yeah. What are you seeing from your outside linebacker group? Um, just another jump, you know. Uh, this is the second spring ball that Reese has had, uh, third one that X has had, um, first one that Ryan's had, you know. So these guys are all – they're all – taking the jumps that we were excited about when we recruited him here and uh, big expectations when we get in the fall. A lot of guys getting opportunities. What do you make of just some of those other guys who are getting their chance to kind of show what they can do this spring? Yeah, uh, it's opportunities, you know. You expect them to mess up. You expect them to, you know, have some growing pains, right? Uh, but as far as the competitive nature and, and explosiveness and all that, the willingness to, to get better is there. How do you feel about the depth at your position at the outside linebacker spot right now? Yeah, depth is great. Uh, we'll probably add one or two, you know, come the transfer portal time. But, uh, you know, we're getting the guys better that are here. And if everybody stays healthy and, and everybody can play, then we'll be really happy in the fall. You have experience, obviously, with X and, and yeah. uh, What are you looking for? What are some of the, the qualities and traits you're going to be looking for when you get to the portal? Uh, just the same thing. Very, very similar to both of those guys, right? We both we got both those guys. One from Utah and one from Florida. Uh, guys that are hungry, uh, coachable, uh, and have the ability. You know, that's what we're looking for. And and then I'll do the rest. Meet me halfway. I'll do the rest. You know what I mean? Last fall, <clears throat> Reese's name was getting called a lot. Um, looked looked like there were high hopes for him, but he started the season fairly slow. What? How, how did the light turn on late in the year where there was so much success late in the year? Right. Well, I've, I mean, you're going to have to ask him that question. But from a coaching standpoint, it had been the first time that he had played an entire season healthy, you know. So a lot of what he was going through was a lot of, a lot of mental, uh, you know, barriers for him to get through a game and then start a game and then play an entire game and then do it back to back to back to back to back, you know. Uh, that was new territory for him. So... Uh, I think once things calmed down and, and he was able to work through those things, you know, you saw at the end of the season what he could do, and and that is the expectation, right? You know, he goes out there and has three sacks, you know, ends the season with seven sacks, like that is that's the expectation because he's he'll win, right? But finishing is is where we're focused on right now. For observers, it's hard to tell how the linebackers are doing in non-contact situations, probably more than any other position on the field. Yeah. How do you evaluate looking at film and what you're seeing out there? Oh, man, I mean, it's, uh, for me, it's pretty simple, right? Point of contact, is the blue jersey going back or not, right? And then when the quarterback throws the ball, are you there? Are you at the quarterback or not? Are you where you're supposed to be? So uh, for us, it's, it's really simple, and I think for them, too, they understand you know, the style of play that we have and the violence and physical nature that we want to establish, you know, that they know that. So um, when we come out here and watch film, that's what we're looking at is, does the line get displaced? All right, is the blue jerseys going back or are the white jerseys going back? Even though they're not tackling, absolutely. you see the contact. Yeah, absolutely, yep, point and, of contact. And the position. We don't necessarily know where they're supposed to be, but you do. Yeah, totally, yeah. And then, I mean, everybody really, Think about the running backs and AT and, and the old line, they know too, you know. If something busts outside of us, then that means we didn't do our job. So uh, it's 11 on 11, and we try to play as physical as we can with our 111. There's a good crop of uh, portal guys or kind of JC transfers that came in and the defensive backs. Do you like what you've seen out of that group? Yeah, I love it. And if they just give us a split second, that's all we're asking for up front. That's what every every D lineman, every edge player wants is just one more one more point something to get to the quarterback. And uh, our guys, we're really excited about the guys that we have. We're really, really excited about our, our secondary. And a few of those interceptions, I mean, Marcus Harris with the diving one the other day, and then he had that yeah. one-handed crazy sideline grab. And, yeah. and uh, then Noel Williams 
flipping his body and picking that up. Oh, yeah. And then pick yeah. six. I mean, you yeah. kind of like to see that kind of Love thing. it. So we, like, they actually come to me for the ball drills. So we do our ball drills at the outside. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I get credit goes to their coaches and, and how they've been coached that it's, it's normal now. You know, it's expected that if the ball is around you as a DB that you pick it off. So uh, credit goes to those guys for making the play, but also Coach Trey and, you know, and uh, Terrence for getting them ready. Yeah, huge jump. Uh, he's probably one of the most athletic guys on the team. Um, as shown, we allowed him to be in the front line against Oregon State, and they tried to test him, and he took the ball back. You know, that's uh, that's credit to his ability and, and um, you know raw talent. Now it's uh, putting it all together. Kind of the same thing with Reese, putting it together, putting a game together, going through a game, being a guy that has a bigger role, and what that does to your body during the season. So um, those are the things we're working on with him. Seems like you have a lot of options in the return game. Uh, you know, how, do you, how do you sort through some of those options and, and find what you're looking for? Oh yeah, I mean the rest of the spring and, and fall camp is going to be a hard choice because we have a lot of guys that can go. Like we probably have four or five returners, four or five punt return guys. You know what I mean? I was kind of disappointed in Jaden not. What's up, Jaden? <laughs> <laughs> no, we got, I mean, the crop that we have uh, as far as returners goes, any one of them can take it to the house. So it brings a new energy to our return units. Is there a chance that he gets back there some more? Absolutely. I mean, I'm going to make every special teams coordinator have to game plan for number one back there. Who's the best player you've ever played in UFC in this building? In UFC? Yeah. Oh, uh, man. There's this little guy. He's, he's kind of, yeah, kind of ugly. His name is Jaden. Did you not? Yeah. No, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down 2 1 to him in the heavyweight class. So I got to get my work in. You got to be watching 300 tomorrow night? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Thanks. Thank you.